Joining us now is Ron Fitzgerald, who you saw at the top of the show with Vinnie Bellaccio, the director and co-writer for a movie and production called Dark Realm. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Good Thanks. to have you here. Nice to be here. Ron, uh, tell me a little bit about being a master gothic illusionist. What, what exactly does that mean? <laughs> That's usually the first question everybody asks is, <laughs> just what is that? Yeah. Uh, well, it, it, it means that it, uh, the show has a, a dark gothic uh, look and feel to it. Even mm -hmm. though it's still lots of fun, I use a lot of humor and, and everything, mm -hmm. but it still has that dark, you know, gothic kind of feel to it. It's kind of like if Tim Burton produced an illusion show, it would look like this. <laughs> now, were, did you grow up doing magic and wanting to be a magician? That I did. That kind of thing? I did, actually. Yeah. When I was eight, I got a magic kit, and that started me off on my career in, in, in show business. Mm -hmm. And uh, and actually in the beginning, you wouldn't know it from looking at me now, but I uh, I started and it was very traditional birds and bunnies and tuxedos and things like that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there was hair and everything then. There was, okay. it, was, <laughs> it was a whole different show. Okay. And, uh, and, then, and then I got to a point where I just, it, it, uh, you know, I, I had mastered what I was doing, but I was no longer entertained or nor were my contemporaries mm -hmm. by what I was doing. And I wanted to do something that was just a lot more daring. I wanted to build the show that I wanted to see. And I was always a big fan of horror and sci-fi and fantasy. So mm -hmm. it took me in that direction. Great. And that's, that's what you have now. Okay. Now, Vinny, uh, tell us about uh, what you're doing at the State Theater here in downtown South Bend. Well, we took uh, Ron's show, basically his, his Magic Illusion show, and we put it in a narrative form. We put, a, put it together with a story. And what we're doing Monday night at the State Theater is we'll be sh doing his show with mm -hmm. a live audience so that we can get all of our audience reactions in in one night and not have to have people come back. Mm -hmm. uh, we got it through downtown South Bend, helped us out to get the at the states here, this, and this it's going to happen Monday night. Yeah, yeah, terrific idea. Now you're encouraging the I'm public encouraging to come, the public right? Public to come, sit down, watch the show. You'll you'll be on camera, and you'll get to see a, a, a gothic illusion show. What time yeah. Monday night should it, folks show up? We're asking people to show up by six. And we're asking okay. them to please go to our website and register, which is uh, darkrealmmovie.com. Just say. Just write us there and say that you're you're coming, and we're asking people not to wear jeans and t-shirts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, gothic Class attire, not maybe bit. not maybe right. as, maybe as you can't get this. As this as isn't off the rack. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it isn't. Gee, I thought I saw that at J.C. Penney last week, but I must have been mistaken. Now, uh, um, tell us a little bit more about the show. What kind? Of, what kind of? Illusions. Are you going to pe bring people out of the audience first? Of yeah, all, we'll have it? people come yeah. up out of the audience. Uh, Somebody might get sawed in half. Is yeah. that right? <laughs> With power tools. With power oh, tools. Oh, yeah. so that's a little twist. Yeah, it is. Okay. It Instead is. Instead of the big tree saw, it will be yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> a little, now, little action with the jigsaw. I'll also, <laughs> I'll, I'll do fun things like eat razor blades. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? That's in the show. Is Come that on recommended, really? Uh, Kids wouldn't. don't want to try it, this. Well, it's recommended okay. for guys like me. Okay. But if, if you're at home, don't. <laughs> Try this at home. Yeah. All right. Oops, now I think we have yeah. we yeah. have some video. We have some pictures that we're showing here. Uh, uh, when uh, folks show up uh, this coming Monday night, well, now actually we're seeing a little bit of uh, mm -hmm. a movie clip here. Oh, that Tell was us about that. Video. Done in the uh, in the Michiana area. Mm -hmm. uh, that's called Fang. It's a vampire movie with also uh, hot rod cars and uh, the Italian mafia. And, and Ron, you're you're in this. I got Ron yeah. in that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. 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 How long have you uh, been a director, Vinny? I've and been, been involved in filmmaking. Well, I've been in acting for about 25 years. I, right? I went when I left. I left here around when I was 18 years old and went to California to pursue an acting career. I spent like three years in New York, did some off-Broadway theater. Mm -hmm. Went back to California because I enjoyed the sunshine. Worked with Roger Corman and. Wow. Uh, Vincent Roger Fulman. Corman. Tell, tell everybody who Roger Corman is. For Roger folks Corman that is might a, not know. We right. call him the king of B movies. Yeah. He's been doing it. He's like in his 90s. I think he's been doing it since his 20s. And he's mm -hmm. he's well known in the industry. He was started off. He started my uh, Jack Nicholson's career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And, and just name a couple of his films that have, that folks might remember. What were the ones that you worked on? Uh, I worked Roger? on a film called Sorority House Massacre, okay. which was in 1984, <laughs> but before then he did what? Uh, I the Raven remember. with Vincent the Price. Raven with Vincent Price. And all those great Little Vincent Shop Price. of Horrors, which yeah. was where Jack Nicholson <laughs> <Yeah>. got discovered. <laughs> 
Excellent. Now, uh, Ron, I want to talk a little bit about magic and, yeah. and illusions. Mm -hmm. you, you told us before you started out uh, as a child getting into, into magic. Yes. Uh, did you have some inspirations, uh, any magicians that you saw on TV uh, that uh, that inspired you to get into magic, or was it just something well, that you... Uh, it was just something I, I kind of liked. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, it, it was something that, that I liked uh, about that, and there was something that even then I found kind of vampiric about magicians <laughs> because usually they're you know in black and tuxedos and the cape with the lining and mm -hmm. all that stuff even then I thought oh, that dude looks like Dracula so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so here I am yeah here you are all these years later yes uh, yeah is there is there something about uh, the the goth angle to this mm -hmm. that makes it special or different uh, is well, it, it's, is, it's, it, is it mainly fun, or is it supposed to be scary, or a little bit of everything? Yes, it's supposed to be both. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be fun and scary yeah. and provocative, all of those things. I mean, when I, when I started, you know, producing in, uh, the show in this way, and, and mm -hmm. you know, I, it was my love of horror and sci-fi and things like that, and mm -hmm. the gothic subculture and all of that that I, you know, and the avant-garde performance art, all of, the, all of those angles that I rolled into the performance. I liked, I liked very theatrical magic, you know, sure. I, you know, back to the old, you know, golden age of magic, you know, over a hundred years ago when all the grand, grand illusionists were out there, mm -hmm. you know, in Houdini's time and, and, and you right. know, vaudeville and all of that was happening. Huge, grand, you know, you know illusion shows and things like that. And, and there, there's something about a style of that, even though it, it, it's, the, the, you know, the style of it's very different, it's very modern. Mm -hmm today but there's something about that theatricality because magic by you know David Blaine and other illusionists uh, other magicians you know kind of chased magic out into the streets you know back mm -hmm. you know like in, in the 90s and, and after and I just you know I like a show that's back on stage where you can actually do stagecraft and make it into a theatrical event again. Sure. You know, but somewhere between that and a rock concert, you know, that's <laughs> kind of what it looks like. Well, very good. Well, uh, good luck with the show. On, uh, and, and this is coming up again, Vinny, what uh, night? Monday night. Monday night. This Monday night, May 20th. No, uh, 14th. May 14th. May 14th. 6 o'clock. State Theater, 6 o'clock. Get there early uh, for good seating. You want to have folks register at your, at your at website? At the website, darkrealmmovie.com. Very good. Maybe yeah. one of the last times that you see the State <laughs> Theater like it is because it's uh -huh. so bought and it's going to be making, uh, some changes. making some changes there. And well. it's haunted, so come to oh the House boy. and the Ghost okay. and Haunted Theater. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, guys, and, that, and have fun at the show. Well, thank Very you. Thank good. you. Coming up, a tour of Ruth Muir Museum, but now the Experience Michiana live music calendar.